Right, this is my tabletop review for the Taurus M669 357 Magnum, uh, six shot, six inch. Um, I'm going to go over a few quick points with this. Um, first of all, let's check the weapon. It is clear. All right. Um, picked this gun up a while ago, and uh, essentially because I was looking for something for home defense, for target shooting, uh, pretty much just an all-around uh, various use gun. Um, I was trying to... I've had revolvers before. I wanted to have something that I could kind of hone my skills with a revolver again. Um, so I picked this up for my buddy Alan, AF Boyers in uh, Slatington, Pennsylvania. And I've been absolutely pleased with it ever since. Uh, I was kind of tossing around the idea of various different revolvers. I've owned a Dan Wesson. I've owned uh, Charter Arms. I've had a Smith & Wesson, and I've never had a Taurus. I've always been interested in owning a Taurus revolver. I have a great price point. Um, really cool looking. I like how on Taurus have this uh, full length all the way to the end of the barrel. I just I just like that. It gives it a bit more of a, a bit more of heft, a little bit more weight, and just for me a little bit of a cooler look. All right, so uh, first point we're going to go down is um, kind of taking this from the Nut and Fancy Project, his reviews, philosophy of use uh, is the first thing. I got it for home defense. I also got it for target shooting. Um, anybody who's looking to carry this, it's not impossible. A six-inch barrel on top of, you know, the frame itself with a large grip, it's it's not an easy gun to carry. It's also really heavy um, as far as a carry gun. weighs twice as much as my 1911 when it's fully loaded and this is empty. Um, so not the most comfortable thing to carry all day. It's not impossible. I've, I've carried it a few times. I just would rather, you know, put something light on to carry. So as far as a carry gun for concealed carry, not the most ideal, um, a duty gun, if you're like a sheriff or something, I say go for it. If, if, if that's what you're carrying, if you need to carry a revolver, um, I absolutely would carry this. If, if I had to carry a revolver as a duty gun, I would take this no question. Um, other than that, um, the sight picture on it's real nice, real easy to see, adjustable sights, And the front is just a standard, you know, Taurus front sight there. Um, lining up the sight picture is real nice. Um, real easy to see, at least for me. I, I might, down the road, put, uh, put a little paint on it, maybe some, you know, phosphorescent paint or something, just because, like I said, I am using this for a home defense gun, so I'd like some something on there to make it a little bit easier to see at night. Otherwise, as it is now, it's fine. Um, handling, it has a really nice, really light single action trigger pull. Uh, the double action's long, but there's really no no complaints that I have over the trigger pull. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, six shots, so I know there's a lot of magnums out there that are doing five shots or seven shots. I'm I'm a bit more of a traditionalist. I like if I'm gonna have a revolver, six rounds. That's that's just how I feel. Um, I know there's a tactical advantage to having more rounds, but it's a revolver. I'm I'm not really looking for firepower with a revolver. I'm looking for accuracy, and I'm looking for range. And uh, speaking of range, I took it to the range, and I, I'm just very, very impressed with this. This was um, this was with reloads, uh, hand-loaded ammunition that the range makes down there. It was about eight shots, roughly 25 feet. Uh, this was 38 special, 
mind you. Um, they were out of 357 at the time. So this is about 25 feet away. Um, my first shot usually always lands off to the left. I, I'm not used to revolvers. I, I'm, I'm used to semi-autos, so it's just a little bit different for me with a revolver as compared to a semi-auto, but I'd like to think this is a, this is a pretty decent grouping for my first you know first time taking it out to to kind of see how it's firing with these rounds and again 38 special this is about 25 feet I'm not shooting from a rest I'm not shooting from a bench I am standing holding the gun in a standard combat stance that I, how I would be holding it if I were shooting to defend myself so so we got about two rounds, either one or two rounds off this side here. I believe that's yeah, possibly two. And I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eight rounds from standing. So I was like, I, I like, you know, it's almost all of them are in the nine ring, most in the ten ring. So from there, I kind of got a feel for the gun and was able to get my groups a little bit tighter. Uh, this is at 30 feet, so I pushed it out about another 5 feet. <clears throat> and this is where it seems about 30 feet and beyond is where these sights seem to be zeroed at. Again, my first shot's off to the left in the 9. But then, everything else, we're getting a nice, about a 1 inch grouping right there. So that's 4 shots, all right there, 1 stray. But again, all in the ten ring, and this is all done standing with 38 special um, hand loads, which is what I use. Well, I don't use hand loads, but I use 38 special. My defense rounds are Hornady critical defense, 38 special plus P. That's what I have in here. That's what I keep in there. And that was what I first was able to get. Um, I didn't get a video of my very first time taking this gun out. The very first six rounds I put out of the gun, I got a very, very similar group with the Hornady ammunition. I am a big, big fan of Hornady's critical defense ammunition. It is just absolutely a, a treat to shoot. It is deadly accurate. Rounds go where, where I point every time. I have never, never had a problem with Hornady's critical defense ammo. It keeps a great ballistic, uh, you know, trajectory because of that little tip in there. Retains its shape until it hits the target, then it spalls. So for as far as checking your accuracy with your defense ammo, I like Hornady critical defense just because of that reason that it, it, it retains its shape until it hits the target. So you can practice your accuracy with it and know pretty much where it's going to be going because it doesn't spall until it hits the target. So unlike other hollow point ammunition, it starts spalling midair and can you know veer off to the left or the right. The Hornady stuff pretty much stays dead on every time. So I was impressed thoroughly with how this Taurus M669 fires the accuracy that I was able to get with a revolver after not having handled a revolver with uh, this length barrel in um, seven or eight years. So, uh, very impressed with how accurate it is over my Charter Arms police undercover that I had. Now, granted, that was a two-inch barrel, so it's like comparing apples and oranges, I know. But just being able to pull this thing out, line it up, and get groupings like that the second, uh, you know, second time I've shot. Very impressed. So I would say, if anyone's looking for an inexpensive and fun, reliable, and accurate 357 that can uh, cycle 38, Taurus M669 has my absolute vote of confidence. I would trust my life to this gun and as we can see here at 30 feet I can put about five rounds into someone's eyeball so 
the accuracy and the reliability, at least as far as I've experienced with this gun, top notch. And this is a used Taurus 669, by the way. This is not brand new. It is not new to me. I picked this up used at a terrific price. Like I said, I got it from AF Boyers in Slatington, Pennsylvania. And uh, absolutely love it. I don't think I'm going to do a thing to this gun. I was thinking about putting some different grips on, but I kind of like the, the look, how it is with the wooden grips, and clearly the grips aren't an issue as far as me sighting it, pointing it, and getting reliable, accurate shots and follow-up shots with that grip. So I think I'm going to hang on to this uh, for uh, the foreseeable future. I had had a lot of revolvers before and I sold them because I didn't like how they fired, I didn't like my accuracy with them, I didn't like various different things about them, but Taurus M669 357 6 inch barrel. Uh, hanging on to this one for the foreseeable future. I have no reason to give this up. Absolutely a fun gun to shoot. I got some stuff to do reloading. I'm going to be doing some hand loads for it, maybe uh, take it out later after I've done some hand load ammunition in here for 357 and just see what I can get with my own ammunition. But so far, very impressed. Great gun. Absolutely recommend it. So if you're looking for a revolver, Taurus. I absolutely love Taurus as far as revolvers go. This, this is what kind of got me swayed. And I don't see myself straying from Taurus. The great price, great guns. So there you have it. Stay safe and uh, good shooting.